Hi everybody, it's Christina from prettydistressed.com back today with another chalk paint, decorative paint by Annie Sloan uh, tutorial for you guys. I want to say thank you to all my new subscribers and readers of the blog. Thank you for all your comments, um, all your questions. I love hearing from you guys and I'm excited to know that other people are enjoying painting furniture as much as I am, so keep them coming. Today I am painting a table for a client of mine in a beautiful color called Coco. And um, this piece has some really great decorative legs, so I kind of wanted to show you how I paint a leg like this. Um, your natural um, instinct is you're going to want to cover every little crevice and nook and cranny with paint. But I find that that really covers up the beauty um, and the detail of the wood. So I'm going to show you how I paint it to really have that great detail work shine through. So again, I have my um, Annie Sloan chalk paint here. I'm working with cocoa today, which is a really pretty color. It's uh, like a brown taupey with um, some red pink undertones. So I got my paint. I spritzed it with a little bit of water because it's been sitting out today in the heat. Um, and I'm just going to go and start painting here. So you see how I am not getting every little inch and stitch in here. And I'm just going all the way around here. Get some more paint. So you can see how that brown um, is still showing through, which is what I really like, um, and down here too. You see that detail is like still coming out. If you cover and just really stipple and stick your paint in there, you're gonna lose all that beauty. And when you go to distress it, you're not gonna be able to get down in those curves. You're gonna get um, the stuff that's sticking out. So this is how I paint a leg. Um, you're gonna run into this a lot on tables and even on chairs. Um, and again, this is just my first coat, so I tend to take it a little lighter on my first coat, and then if I go back into my second and see I missed like some big spots, I'll go back over it. But this first one, you're just kinda trying to cover it as best you can. Um, Here is a close-up view of the leg, so you can see what I'm talking about, about leaving that detail uh, free of paint and how that's really going to bring that beauty of the detail out in the wood. So that is my quick tip today on how to paint a decorative leg to really make the detail pop. I hope you guys enjoyed it. Please check out prettydistress.com for more chalk painting tips and tutorials and to see some more of my work. Until next time, we'll see you soon.